This map shows all the Melbourne railway lines that I haven't been on. And today, we're doing these ones. Hello, and welcome to today's video, which will be the first part of my 300 subscriber special. Um, now I don't actually know entirely when I'm going to be releasing this, so it could be anything really, but, um, <laughs> I'm feel um yeah, I'm not certain what I plan to do with this yet, but it's my aim is to make it my 300 subscriber special, which would mean that there's a few parts to this. Um yeah. So this is gonna be the first part of a, a bit of a of a bit of a long adventure, and that is catching every light suburban line that we haven't caught before um, and so what lines are those well um, we've been on the Belgrave Glen Waverley um, Sunbury Sandringham um, and Pakenham lines, and we've also been on the Craigieburn line catching Seymour trains. And so for the li metro lines that I haven't done, that leaves um, Lilydale, Alamein, Mernda, Hurst Bridge, Cranburn, pa Frankston, Stony Point, um, Upfield, Werribee and Williamstown. That's a lot, so this is why it's going to take a while. Today's adventure, we're going to finish off the Burnley group. That's the dark blue lines on the map. Um, which will be, means we're going to Lilydale and Alamein today. Um, yeah. So... And yeah, now I'm pretty sure this is going to be my 300 subscriber special, um, but, I mean, I'm not certain of it, um, I'm pretty sure, Dep depends how quickly I reach 300 subscribers, I guess. I might actually, it de I might actually release this video before I reach 300 subscribers, um, because... I'm gonna, like, like, as a teaser for the whole event, sort of thing. And I might not get all of them, and I might not actually get all of them done. Because there's only so many days in the school holidays, and I might run out. Um, so I might not actually complete this. But I'll definitely get a good chunk done, I think. Possibly. Um. Yeah. And... Um, hmm. what am I going to say? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so t today's video, we're going to Lilydale and Alamein for the first time. And so to do that, we're going to catch a train from Baronia t going towards the city. And then we're going to get off that at Ringwood and change for a Lilydale train. And go to Lilydale, come and then and then, and then come back from Lilydale, but keep going all the way to Camberwell. And at Camberwell, we're going to change for an Alamein train. And then we're going to come back to Camberwell, and probably just take a Belgrave train back here. It's probably a good idea. Anyway, I'll see you when the thing starts, um, when the train arrives. God, I feel like I should have made a script for this or something. <laughs> um, not doing well. <laughs> so, apologies in advance for the lack of script. <laughs> I don't know, it should be fine now. The introduction is the hard bit anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, so I just wanted to say, 
it's amazing like how quickly we reached two, 300 subscribers. See, I almost said 200 subscribers because it's been that quick. Like, you guys really liked my 200 subscriber special. Really did. It got nearly, uh, as of making this, it's got nearly 5,000 views and 2,000 watch hours, which accounts for basically like 100% of my watch hours so far. So, that's, yeah. It's like, before that video, I had like 200 hours of what what watch hours, and now I have like 2,000. So you guys really like that video, and you really wanted to watch it, because like, every person who watched it gave me about half, a half an hour of watch time, which is amazing to think about. Like, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, and I'm definitely going to try and replicate that in future. But yeah, um, and along with that, my subscriber count has been growing really fast ever since, since that released, even if its views are slowing down. As of filming this, I'm already on 270. I don't know how many weeks exactly it will take me to reach 300 when this releases. Um, but by the time you're watching this, you'll find out, I guess. Just look at when the date of when this was filmed versus the date it released. That's a good indicator of how quickly we got the last 30 subscribers. Um, but yeah. Um. It's like, it's amazing just, like, I'm just filming my adventures sort of thing that I'm doing. And it's just amazing to think that you guys really want to watch them. And that's pretty cool. Um. Yeah. Sorry, I just, I just did a, you know, sappy subscriber speech for my 200 subscriber one. So, I'm sorry if I'm not able to readily provide one for this video. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, you got... Yeah, definitely. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for watching my videos. Um, I really appreciate it, because, like, yeah. It's really cool to see something like this just consistently growing. Um, it's, with YouTube, I guess, you get, you really get to see, um, the rewards for the effort you put in, and it's, um, and you guys are the ones providing those rewards, like, when I open the YouTube app, and I see, oh my god, my video got 5,000 views nearly, that's pretty cool, and, yeah, and it's amazing how quickly this subscriber special came around, it's only been a few weeks since 200 subscribers, like, when was that? Like, like, three weeks ago as of filming this or something like that? Like, that video blew up, like, really, really big. Nothing even close to that had happened before. And so, yeah, it's a... Yeah. That, see, I mean, it, it is labelled 200 subscriber special, so <laughs> those sort of things do get views I imagine. But yeah, catching every type of train in Melbourne, you guys really enjoyed that. So, um, yeah. Well, that's what this kind of is. Um, another one of those, in a way. Um, like, instead of catching every train type in Melbourne, we're going to be catching every line in Melbourne. Yeah, that's the aim here. Um, and this is part one of that, because you, it's pretty hard to do all of that in one day. Um, it is definitely possible, at, as, if you want to look it up, up, look up catching every line in Melbourne in one day, it can be done in 19 hours. 19 hours of non-stop trains. Um, and while that sounds fun... I do enjoy my sleep. 
Um, yes, so the one, the, the adventures that require a lack of sleep, um, y yeah, um, those ones you won't see me doing very frequently. Um, I know a round trip to Swan Hill might require that I get up at like 5 a.m. Um, most mornings I get up closer to 10 a.m. So, um, bear with me as my ready myself for that over the years. <laughs> Will be a while until I do that trip. Um, but other tr similar trips I might do, like, the trips that I can do and get up late, um, I'll definitely enjoy. Um, yeah, the length of the trip isn't the main problem. Although, when I'm time-lapsing a line, it does mean that I can't really use my phone for much. <laughs> so I might get it, so... There is a little bit of a tendency to get a little bored <laughs> on those long journeys, but hasn't been too much of a problem so far. So, we'll see. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling now, aren't I? Um, I'll, I'll see you when the train arrives. Richmond. I mean Ringwood, not Richmond. <laughs> Very different stations. Hey, I just noticed this train was made in 2019. It's one of the younger trains. Now the question is, what plat what side of the train will the platform be on? I think it's gonna be this side. Yeah, it's this side. Okay, now we um, got to find the next leap out of the punch. Let's just check the other platform. What's going on here? Do not board in a f what over over an hour, and it's a do not board. So this platform is not being very used. So I'm ready. Come on. Oh, come on, one minute? <laughs> That's pretty bad luck. Let's run. Well, you know what? Being at Ringwood for half an hour, it's, it's not the end of the world. I guess. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It's not even behind my... T my plan. My original plan had me leaving in half an hour anyway. Yeah, okay, bye bye. I'm gonna be here for a bit, so, um, we've been here a few times before. But there's, there's the old signal box there. Um, I think that's a cafe now. I don't think it's used as an actual signal box anymore. So I don't know who controls the points. Probably somewhere, someone at Metrol 
I wonder how much of the network they control um, there. Like it would be interesting to think. Um, do not board. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder what that is. Mm -hmm. Bell Grave. Yeah. I love spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's another cafe. You're not gonna go hungry at Ringwood Station, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Better train to film. It's coming up.
Alright, this is our train. So yeah, between Moral Park and Lilydale, it's actually single track. Didn't know that. Also, you can tell based on the signals that that train is leaving next because it's got the green signal. That's leaving in six minutes. So we're definitely going to be catching this train back because I, so something tells me that 36 minutes is going to be enough time here. It looks a lot like East Pakenham, I have to say. Looks very similar to East Pakenham, kind of. Except it's a sky route, which is interesting. So it's like if East Pakenham was in the sky, that's slowly down. So I wonder how the people who regularly come to Lilydale felt when they um, saw his pack them. Probably Yeah. Anyway. Um, that's the stairs down. That looks cool. Um, obviously this is the terminus of the line, so you want to see what happens next. Because, um, one thing that's worth noting is that the line kind of does keep going in the fact that the Yarra Valley Railway, which is very much not complete, only Hillsville Station and a little bit of its surrounds are operational, um, but it does it start at Lilydale, even if the part near Lilydale is nowhere near operational. So you, the line keeps going a little bit, so you, I wonder where this goes. Because it has to end somewhere, obviously. It'll become unused railway, clearly before a station. So this is probably just a big siding. Um, or a yard. Yeah. In there is like the a train yard. I know look like an old fashioned building as well. Yeah, there's the yard. It's a pretty tight turn on the track on the right by the way. Or it looks tight from this angle at least. Also, I've got that giant that screen thing, which is interesting. 
Right, well, um, let's go downstairs and take a look, I guess, the rest of the station. Oh, wow, there's just nothing here. Okay, there's the lift. There's the monkey gates. There's... That's an ugly looking bus. <laughs> But like, it looks like, just pointing out, that flexi ride bus looks a little ugly. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so we're in Lilydale now. Um, so yeah, obviously, Obviously, this road here was what caused it to become a Skyrail station. Must have been like a um, level crossing there. That, that looks like it might be the old station building. So the station was actually shifted downwards. Because it used to be up there and now it's there. So it couldn't have been where it is now in the past because that's where the level crossing must have been. Because, yeah, you can see what appears to be the old platform. Which, yeah. The reason... The old station is always, until it's dismantled at least, somewhat kept. Because, while the new station's being built, trains preferably still want to run. So because of that... It's quite easy to preserve the old station building. Yeah, there's the... So it's... I wonder if they're gonna like open this up or something as like a... historical place thing. No, because there's a... Cool looking building. There's a gate there, but it's locked. But yeah, like, as the historic Lilydale Station. You know, think about it as the historic Lilydale Station. Maybe when the when in 400 years or something, <laughs> the Yarra Valley Railway gets extended to here. And the reason why I'm saying that is it's taken this long for it to just get a second station, which it doesn't have yet. It only has one operational station, and that's very far from here. So, my, so it will take... Oh my god, that's the rail itself. Look right here. That's the railway. Um, but yeah. It's like... When it's extended here, they could use these platforms for the Arrow Valley Railway. It's not a big walk from the main station. Yeah. Seriously, this would make a great preserved station. All they need to do is take the fence off. Now we're reaching the sidings and stuff. Ooh, it's like entrance sort of thing. Let's see if we can speed things up. That might have looked like a quick walk to you, but it wasn't to me. I guess that's the thing about time lapsing. Um, I just noticed this. Victrack comms. That's Victrack communications. Also, yes, we did just see a rabbit hop along past. 
Interesting. Let's keep going. All right, we officially reached the end of the Lilydale line. You can see the station. All you can see like our train at the station all the way over there. It's out of focus, so yeah, there it is. All the way over there. This is still two times zoom, so there it is. And that looks like part of the Yarra Valley Railway. This must have been a br bridge. I think that's quite obvious, actually. Um, so this is a bridge that led to there, which is a level, which was a level crossing. And you can also see an old rusted signal. Um, and yeah, that's that's part part of the siding rail, which clearly used to extend a bit to there. Whoa. The ground I'm setting on is not very solid. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can get over there. And then we're heading back, because we then we'll be running out of time. How do I get there? Hmm. some ducks and that's promising we'll lead down to Warburton Rail Trail so I'm guessing the line Lilydale was actually a junction station between Hillsville and Warburton and there's the river which was the reason why we had to take this long route to get there because that river's well not gonna be easy to cross without a bridge all right, let's resume the time. All right, there's the bridge from earlier. So it would have been a level crossing here. Yeah, there's the rails still in the grass right here. And then it would have crossed the road here and gone along that bridge. Now, we're not going to walk an entire rail trail, but I just want to have a look at this. What I find funny is that a bus stop was placed there. Wait. There are... <laughs> what is that arrangement? I don't know. There's the tra right, railway again. Here's what looks like to be an old-fashioned, like, level crossing gate. And there's the semaphore signal, or what remains of one. Looks like this is where the junction was. That probably heads to Healesville and that to Warburton. At least that's what's implied. Yeah, Yarrow Valley Trail. That's for a sign. That's that. So. Here's a map of the trail. So it's going to open to Yarra Glen, the trail. Yeah, so this is the Yarra Valley Trail, and this must be the Warburton one. Yeah. I, but, oh wait, I find it funny that right next to where an old railway is, there's a bus depot. That feels like, uh... That feels like gloating a little bit by the bus. Yeah, these paths are where a railway used to be, and hopefully, in the future, where a railway can 
be restored. That's, well, maybe a tourist one, but nonetheless, would be pretty cool. Would be pretty cool if Lilydale had its own Puffing Billy. Effectively, I went to Hillsville. Anyway, let's just see the time lapse. saw this sign, the evolution of Lilydale Station. That's just that. Well, that's weird. Through the camera, it looks like very dark blue, right? But to me, it's like dark cyan, you know, the greenish blue. That's weird. That is really weird. The Yes, my camera distorts the colour. That's also why the train aims look really sparkly. Just one of the reasons I like this camera. <laughs> Alright, back to the speed up mode. Alright, now we're here. The main ground level bit of the station. Now I just had a look and apparently the train's going to leave in seven minutes, so we haven't got the most time, but we do have some. But yeah, we should probably be aware of it. Now the downstairs portion of this station really looks like Clayton. Although they just They don't like turnstiles here. Well they don't have them. So yeah, let's head back up there. There we go. There's our train. Now we've got to get off at Camberwell, which is the next station after Box Hill. Skipping it quite a bit. <laughs> oh, my camera's not focused. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll see you when the time lapse starts. <laughs> Thank you. 
train. Uh, what? what? <laughs> Don't mind me, I have no idea what I'm saying. Now, interestingly, that train doesn't have a just inf information. Doesn't have an, in an information. Just period, really. Oh, now it says Alamein. Um, will we be able to get to that? I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> Doesn't look like it. Oh, we might be here a while. Now, note how that train is only three cars. And it's going gonna go into a single track section as well. That's because that's the other main line, one of the like it's not a very well used lot. Well it's not a it's a, not a very used line. Um, very low patronage, very low frequency. And so because of that, they don't run services very often, and they don't have... And because of that low frequency, they don't have many trains running on it. I think they have, like, two, three-car sets that just go around in circles or something, off-peak and stuff. And they just shuttle to Camberwell, so they don't even go to Flint Street. Huh, there's trams here. Okay. <clears throat> right, so... Yeah, there's trams apparently around here. Maybe up there. Well, I'm, I imagine our next train isn't going to be for a while. I'm sure there'll be. Yeah, I can't imagine it like, will be for a while. So I imagine we'll be here for a while. So. Yeah. Let's have a look at the trams while we wait. Wait, does that... Your... Camber Wellness. Oh my god, that's such a stupid pun. It's funny. So... It's pretty major construction site there. Looks like they're building a building. Which is, which is generally what you do with building materials, you build a building. I'm looking for ways to add more instances of the word building to that sentence. <laughs> right. This is the tram line. Here. Yeah. This road. So where does it... Where's this... Oh. Is there a stop on this side? Hmm. Please bear with me as I... I'm trying to figure out how to navigate this. Wait, is that another Alamein train? That could be another Alamein train. Because it goes there, and then it goes into a siding over there, and then comes back to Platform 3. That's the thing those Alamein trains do. Wow, 
Right, well, I imagine this, this is like the tram line that goes to Box Hill, maybe? I don't know what tram line this is. Let me know if you know. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I said, said it, uh, when I was doing all that walking at Lilydale, if you guys are, like, interested in that sort of stuff, let me know, because I was like, I mean, I'm not, like, the biggest walker sort of thing, but, you know, if you guys are interested in, like, rail-related foot or bicycle journeys or whatever, let me know. I'll s yeah. Um, I'll have a th Yeah. I'll have a think about it. <laughs> Alright. Now we're at platform three. Now apparently the 11.32 Alamein is going to be the next train, so... Should be here soonish. Which is good. We don't have to wait too long. Only like two minutes. Bad. Here's our train. See, not many people. Yeah, yeah this is an off peak during work hours on a work on a work on a non weekend um, service. So, not many people use it, Welcome which is why it's so um, infrequent and uh, unused and only three car sets. Anyway, let's start the time lapse now. Raining even more than it was earlier. Okay. Let's try and get under cover then. There's no PIDs at the station at first. So let's press the green button. Services departing Alamein Platform 1 are the 11.50 stopping all stations to Camberwell. The 12.23 Camberwell stopping all stations to Camberwell. The 12.38 Camberwell stopping all stations to Camberwell. And always remember to touch on your Mikey at the start of your journey. Okay. So, it looks like this train might actually be leaving pretty soon. Yeah. Now, what, we'll go explore quick, but I just, um, yeah. Can you hear that? It sounds like a train, right? Except. There's no way there's a train moving around here. This one's stationary and it's on a single track segment that extends all the way to like Burwood. So I think that's a Glen Waverley train at East Melbourne. 
which is just a short walk from here. Because the Alamein line used to reach East Malvern and interchange with the Glen Waverley line there, and then it actually continued, I think, to like the Pakenham line or something. So let's go to the far end of the thing. We should see where the, the old connection, that's pretty short connection. It's like they're some of the closest stations on the network. Okay, East Malvern and Alamein. Well, here we are, the end of the Alamein line. just ends here. If I've had power line kicks going, I suppose. Just for a bit longer. But yeah. The rail line just stops there. But where it would have gone is down this bike track. This rail trail. Let's see if that's up, that sign might. Yeah, all right. Now let's hide under this tree for a second while the rain decides what to do. Um, yeah, let's walk to East Camberwell. Here's the Alamein's, this is a sign for Alamein Station, which is still right there. Um, yeah, the Outer Circle shared, Railway Shared Path. So the Outer Circle line, like, went from somewhere along the Pakenham line. It went up to, like, somewhere... Somewhere. It went somewhere. It was like, it was kind of like an early version of the Suburban Rail Loop, in a way. And the Alamein line is one of the few surviving parts of it that's still in use. If it was connected to me, Smelvin, then it might be more useful, but, I, but it stops here, just like less than a kilometre short. Right, let's keep going. appears to be where we bid the former line farewell as it looks like there's a f there used to be a bridge here that the rail line used but we're going this way by the way if anyone tells you this is a short walk they are technically correct but like um it's not brief not a brief walk so, yeah, it's a bit of a walk and I'm still not there. It's like two kilometers or something, I don't know. Feels like that, maybe. Anyway, let's speed up again. Right, this is the part where I do some research, because I don't know which way to go. I'll look on Google Maps. It's very much this way, not that way. So if you're doing this walk slash bike, you should really do it. Firstly, first recommendation, it's a great short bike ride. It is not a great wa short walk. Secondly, go this way, the way that I am going. 
I believe that's the way you're meant to go. It appears like it. This is um, the bit where we go over a freeway and it is very loud. <laughs> After our not so brief walk, here we are, East Malvern, the Glen Waverley line. Kind of looks like Fern Tree Gully in some ways. There's the overpass, the station's overpass. Yeah, it looks eerily similar to Fern Tree Gully, except it's got an overpass instead of a level crossing. Right, well, we did it. We did here to here, the walk. Now having reached these Mikey gates, I say it's time for us to turn around and head back. This will be fun. For you, not for me. Because it's another long walk. <laughs> right, see ya. There's our train. That's easy. It's a breakage here. It's time for the return journey.
Change. This train not taking passengers. So we're done. Um, yeah. Change. This train not taking passengers. I think that's self-explanatory. Um, yeah. So now we're back at Camberwell. So all we've got to do is catch the train back home, sort of thing. Um, otherwise we're done for the day. So yeah. Let's watch our train go. Hey, that's how we fair. Alright, this train's not going anywhere. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been standing here for a few minutes. It's not going anywhere. Alright, so our return train's gonna be on platform three, so let's just head over there. Fourteen minutes. That's how long we'll be waiting here. Um, I'll sit here. Here's our train. Hey, it's one M or two M, but one M's over here. I definitely want to ride in one M. That's pretty cool. The first Extrapolis train, which probably means. Well, the earliest numbering, which probably means it's the oldest one. Maybe not. I don't know if it's oldest or not. Because this is 2010. Maybe it's not the oldest one. Okay. Alright, that's the final train for today, 1M, <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys next time, probably for part 2 of my 300 subscriber special. Not, I'm not quite certain yet what I'm going to do, but I'll see you then.